So welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the road to 56 as Scandinavia. So we've kind of stole down here in, in southern Germany. We just don't have the railways to get supplies down here. I've also I've realized that the um, tactical bombers I was using are kind of they're not very much use to me. So what I'm going to do is simply get rid of them and and move those factories onto close air support. And at the moment, this is turning into a bit of a slug. So yeah, I'm wasting about seven factories on these. That's factories that I could be depending on guns, artillery, port equipment. The other things as well. The tank wise, I think I'm okay for these. At the moment, I think I'm just upgrading them more than. Yeah, probably scale that back a little bit. Because I'm really short of these things here. And. In hindsight, maybe going with close air support first wasn't my best move. Going with fighters might have been from the start. Oh well, first time trying this, so... I'm just going to shut up now and wait until something, until something interesting happens. So the Soviets have landed in Danzig, so I am going to start pushing um in the east to try and... See if we can force a breakthrough, but it's looking like we won't be able to. Those are not very nice looking bubbles. One good news it the good news is they're heavily out, out of supply here. For what little that may be worth. So we are pushing a little bit down here near Breslau. Again, defensive fight. Fighting here in the south. But there's not much I can really do. Yeah, we do not have the organization to fight anymore. And we're really short in supply. That would be my best idea. Well, we're... Actually able to push a little bit further down to the down to the south. Maybe a slightly more to the around Dresden area. Yeah, not so much in the west. Or the east. Hmm. Apparently we're no longer short of uh, guns, but we just need to upgrade a load more. I'll, I'll take that any day. This, though, I am very short of. Trucks, not so much. Trains and anti-tank, again, yeah, not so much. Don't have enough infantry for all our garrisons. Eighteen percent I can live with. I in this area, we'll go back to secret police. Does mean I need more garrison here. This stage it doesn't. Yeah, we do not have the organization anymore for this. 
And elsewhere, the Iranians have started pushing back on them to deal with them. So that's going to happen eventually. It just... There's not much I can do about it here. Just going to ignore it. Finally, we have an encirclement here. So that's... We'll do... Six... Eight... Thirteen divisions trapped in, the, in this little pocket here. They're they're pretty much dead. Don't need to worry about them. Let's start pushing elsewhere. I can that one out. Well, that's Leipzig taken. Leipzig. German is rusty. That means... Oh, the Germans are very, very close to throwing in the towel. But yeah, they are pretty much dead. It's just the very sluggish cleanup that we have to do next. Soviet's doing a fair bit over here around um, Ostpreußen. We can't exactly advance here because we just. I'm not sure if it's a supply problem or just don't have the numbers. Oh, the Republic of Chile has joined the war. See, we're basically chewing through all our manpower. So after this, I am not, after Germany has fallen, I am not getting involved in anything else. This may well be the last episode. Oh, we're at 100% towards enemy clip, Germany capitulating. Thank for that. So you might put the We'll let the Danish army get through here, or actually have them clean up the French state. Sweden uh, can't really do anything here because there's a lot of Soviet held territory, which I can't really get into. He's going to take a break. Sweden. It's left them. Charge straight into Prague. I'm just going to ask the Soviets if I can... Um... Pass through their territory just to make things quicker.
still need to cap make the, the Italians capitulate. That's going to happen. I think it might happen right now once um once Milano falls. Ah, oh, not. Well, wait until oh, Venice has fallen. Yes. Right. I'm going to take Southern Schleswig and Holstein. And their fleet. Actually, maybe not their fleet, their pre dreadnoughts. Answer the ship is okay. Admiral Hipper, Blucher. And so here is the state of the world after the European War has ended. We're not really involved in the East Asian conflict. I'm not going to bother with that. So Iraq has overthrown, has revolted against the French and British. Again, I'm not getting involved in that. And let's see our brand new fleet. Okay, we, we basically took everything the Germans had almost. Let's balance this a little bit. 
now I think it's time we just started repairing everything. Yeah, we lost a lot of factories that we no longer have now. Let's see what we've got. The um, German Democratic Republic, Soviet occupation zone, Republic. This point, doing. Probably not. I think it might be time to just start um, scaling back some of these units. God gosh. That's unexpected. Hmm, especially since he dislikes Russia. Right. So basically, I just downgrade some of these units to um, reservists because we probably don't need that many at the moment anymore. And at this point, I think that's going to be the ish once, once the Ola save hits. Yeah, did we lose? 
So yeah, we lost six ace pilots. And we have a lot that can't be done because they're just not used to have these planes. was the United Kingdom of Scandinavia in the road to 56. Looking back, I think there's a few things I should have done, but I probably should have gone with fighters first, which, and then add some close air support capability onto them. Not bothered with um, tactical bombers. I also should have been cranking out a lot more subs. We simply don't have enough Enough people to support a giant navy. I'd say we probably did okay. Did okay. And get, we gave better than we got. Well, maybe not in the surface battles. But, yeah. So basically, in, in our timeline, Denmark got overrun in a matter of hours. Norway got overrun in a matter of like, a couple of months, but... They managed to tie down a lot of German troops with the resistance. Sweden stayed out of it. Greenland didn't really get involved. Sometimes in this game, they get, it gets handed to the Germans and they put troops over here, which is just pointless. Iceland was neutral, then got invaded by the UK because the, they thought they were going to side with the Germans. Then became a American protectorish. Yeah. So it is now April 1945, not that long before our before the war ended in our timeline. There's still a bit of there's still a few issues going on think going on in the Middle East. And there's still the Eastern Front, uh, our Eastern Theatre. Scandinavia is not getting involved in any of those beyond maybe sending support equipment, building railways and stuff like that. I think we've done enough. I know we didn't gain much territory, but it wasn't in this to gain territory. This was just to provide an extra little buffer, and the fleet is the main thing. And I could go with a few extra things here, but I'm not going to bother. That's going to be it for now. Well, see you in the next series, whatever that will be.